Do you wanna automate your business so that things just happen whether or not you wanna do it? You know, you've got your marketing going, you've got your sales going, clients are getting serviced, and business is just running whether or not you're there. That's the dream that we're all working to get to, and that's what we're gonna talk about today on the Action Chat. This is the Action Chat. This is the show where we come together to talk about building a massively successful business. And the business I'm focused on is yours. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you join in the conversation because every comment you make, I'm gonna bring here to the show and we're going to uh, we're gonna address your questions. So the more involved you get, the more you're gonna get out of it. Okay, automation. Um, it is a wonderful goal um, but we try to dive into it too quickly. And it's part of the reasons we fail is sometimes we try to act like we're a phase three business when really we're a phase one business. And there's nothing wrong with being a phase one business. You know, that at that level, you could be making multiple six figures. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you've got to recognize where you are in your, in your process or in your um, development as a business owner and as a business and just own it. And I, I, I realize that what I'm talking about is maybe a little nebulous, so let me break this down for you a little bit more. Before you can automate, let's say, your sales. Before you can automate your sales, you have to know how sales work. And you have to have a process that you put in practice that um, actually lands clients, right? It's the same with marketing. Before you can automate your marketing, you've gotta have an approach to marketing that actually gets you attention, that actually gets you people in the door. So before you start thinking automation, start thinking, how do I get clients in the door? Where do I find them? How do I talk to them? What do I say? And as you start doing that, take notes of what's working and what's not working and how you do things, right? Like if, if marketing is, um, you're networking, right? You research a networking place, you go to the networking place, you interact with people and you get uh, clients, right? Okay, great, write that down because that's the first step of operationalizing or automating your marketing is knowing how it works and the steps it takes to get there. So I, I, guess, I guess to the question, how do I automate my business? I'm really breaking it down into two things. One is don't try to jump into it too quickly. Appreciate the time you have as a business owner where you actually have to do the work. And if you already are at that point where you understand how your marketing, your sales, your services work, and now it's time to actually start operationalizing or automating, take really good notes and know step-by-step step how it works. Because then it's just as easy as hiring someone else to do it or finding some sort of uh, technology to replace you doing it. And that's how you start to systemize or automate. Okay, till next time, take some fast focused, imperfect action. This was the Actions Chat. I'm Craig Severinsen. I believe in you. I got your back. This was the Action Chat.